Hey, just thought I'd shoot this little video because why not? It's been a while since I shot one of these Journey to Success videos, um, even though I've been wanting to kind of change that name. Um, it's kind of catchy. I, I uh, Even though I think I am already su successful and I think uh, I'm living a very fulfilling life, I'm building understanding every day, uh, making progress without moving backwards. Um, which is not to say if you move backwards, you see, I don't, I don't view progress the same as most people. Sure, there's, you can, in reality, be moving forward. You can be moving backwards. Um, I base my, uh, I base what I think progress is on understanding. So it doesn't matter what happens in reality. It doesn't matter if um, I made fifty thousand dollars this month. It doesn't matter if I lost a couple clients or whatever and I'm only making like ten thousand dollars a month my barometer to track what progress is to me is the amount of understanding I have and you can build your understanding in any situation you can build it when you're successful you can build it when you're failing or when you don't seem like you're that successful but that's that's what it is to me so success you know, is a, you know, I didn't plan on talking about success, but I think it's something that people strive for. Um, and I don't think you can actually get success by going after it, whatever that means. It's kind of like you can't get happiness by going right after happiness. You got to dissect it and understand what are the fundamental foundational things that bring you, um, bring you happiness, bring you success. And if you really think about what success is, it just means winning at life. And uh, that's a good segue, actually. I didn't plan on that. I was just writing, I uh, took a bunch of notes here. Um, it's a Saturday, 9 p.m. Uh, what's the date? October 26th. I was studying uh, a little bit, learning about business fun fundamentals, uh, listening to a guy named Sam Ovens who has some really good work um, very extreme but you can take those things and apply it to your your life but one thing he said kind of triggered a whole cascade of thoughts and said that success equals sacrifices and that's so true I come from a Christian background um, and you know I don't say that lightly and I think there's a, this is, I don't know, it doesn't really, in a way I don't want to bring it up actually now that I think about it because it, there's so much um, bias and so much, so much layers of um, frames that are already set up when you bring that up that it's not, it's not useful. So um, I say that because Success is a win and a win isn't like doesn't depend on subjective. It's a win is objective. Um, and what I mean by that is I'm going for a win in life. Like I'm here to win. And what a win is, is a perfect life for everyone. And, and I mean everyone. And what that means is the elimination of all bad which every single thing that's bad is caused by a contradiction, whether it's in your own mind or in somebody else's mind. And yeah, if there were, if all the, if someone's say, quote unquote, an evil, has been doing all these evil acts, I want their life to be perfect. And the only reason they're committing those, those acts is because they have contradictions instilled in their mindset and they're acting it out. They're not their idea. They're not, their own ideas um, and so not, not just some like every every person has layers of biases in their brain um, that kind of output uh, a set of actions that they take and so the perfect world the perfect life is elimination of all bad and that also allows for um, unlimited or uncapped potential for good and so you want as much good as possible and but you want to fully eliminate bad and 
if you're correctly understanding uh, the idea of the perfect life, then God's involved. A, because we all have our consciousness, uh, our being, which is experiencing this consciousness screen, this consciousness field, and God is the reason for our consciousness screen, our consciousness field being the way that it is, and us as a being are, exist outside of this physical world. And so, uh, what was I was going to say, oh, and clearly an obvious one is um, of heaven, and it's obviously better for people to get to heaven than to go to hell. And so that is the reason for that. Anyways, the what I was actually doing was studying willpower and motivation. Um, you know, increasing my fire and my input that I could put into my business so that I could create a machine that gives value to people around me, to myself, um, just create more goodness and hopefully eliminate some bad. So it's my little update. Oh, I got uh, nominated for the Abyssal Chamber of Commerce Under 40 Entrepreneur Award. So um, nominated, so that doesn't mean I win, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, here's a little update and I'm sure no one's going to watch this except maybe me or my family in, uh, in a couple years. Like, 40, 50 years.